You cannot take the uh, mark, man. Because if you take the mark, man, you're going to get the wrath of God, man. Right. Right? So you can't take the mark, man. Hey, so, hey, y'all came over here to listen? Yes, sir. Oh, man, that's what's up. Hey, you see yourself on the sign? Anywhere? We're, we're uh, dad. You dad? Your mama's side or dad? I'm both. Who is that, buddy? I'm actually seeing you guys on YouTube. You have? Actually, you guys. Yeah, what? Hey, bring it, SOJ, bring it for Fruit out here. Hey, hallelujah. Hey, man, that's all crazy. So, what do you learn from us? Clearly, tell you watch a lot yeah. more. Huh? I actually introduced him to the. I was watching it way before he came into my life, and I actually showed him this. Yeah. I showed him that we were like God's people. And stuff. And at first he didn't oh, praise! Give him a hand, y'all. God, yeah. that's crazy, that's man. That's a beautiful thing. That's fine. I actually seen this guy when we were skating. I was like, I know these guys. We have to go over here. Yeah. yeah. I was so like, these guys have to be reading the Bible. And he's like, no, they're not. I was like, I'm pretty sure they are because I see that. Hey, all you brothers that go against the sign, okay? Yeah. The sister says she's seen the sign and it brought her over, okay? Acknowledgement. All right, so y'all need to stop with the madness, man. Okay. okay. They definitely do that. Hey, they said it was Gad or Issachar. Yeah. 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 Right. So you already know it's redemption coming yeah. for y'all, huh? You, we already know, yeah. You ready for that? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm happy. Hey, so how old are you? I'm 18. Oh, so y'all, you still live with your parents? Okay. So y'all can keep the commandments then. Come. Right. Hey, because I want to show you a scripture. Come. This is uh, the book of First John chapter five verse three. Bring it out. And this is really for you because you know you got the Ten Commandments and then not only the Ten Commandments, you got what she brought out—the tassels, the fringes. You see, everybody on every brother's shirt, we got fringes and tassels on our shirt, and it's a commandment that we have to keep. Right? Cause at the end of the day, brother, it's up to you. That's yeah. your wife, so it's up to you to make sure that she's doing what she's supposed to be doing as a man. All right? Do you believe in the in the gospel? Oh yes, sir. You do? I'll oh, praise. You. I'm gonna start up real quick. I'm gonna start at verse two. This is First John chapter five, verse two. Bring it out. By this we know that we love the children of God right? when we love God and keep His commandments. Right? For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. grievous. Hey, so you know what the word grievous means? Uh, no. It means hard. Difficult. So, yeah, difficult. They're not hard to do. They're not difficult. Yeah, no, no, no. Right? So even outside the 10, they're not hard to do. Uh, you know, society can, is more of a push on us. The things that we want to do, you know, dealing with our flesh is more, make it hard. Right? But the commandments ain't hard to do. Like, it's not hard to put these on your shirt. No, those, and, you know, I like those. Those are badass. Right, and you can start off with what we call the tassels, where you can just put them on your pants. You ain't got to have them on your shirt. I was you actually know. telling him about this yesterday, that how we wear fishing and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You bring it up. This is Deuteronomy 10, verse 12. Bring it out! And now, Israel, what, what doth the Lord thy right, God require of thee? Hey, now that y'all know that y'all who y'all are according to God, it's something that you got to do. Read that again from the top. And now, Israel. 
what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So what does God want us to do? Come on. But to fear the Lord thy God. Right. To walk in all his ways. Come on. And to love him. Right. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Come on. To keep the commandments of, of the Lord. Lord. To do what? To, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of, of the Lord. Lord. One more time. To, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of, of the Lord. Lord. Hey, if you know that you're an Israelite and you're not doing the things that an Israelite does, you're going to get in more trouble. You're going to get in even more trouble. So it's, it's very important for us to really keep the commandments. It's super important. Like, y'all, you probably already know the basics. You know, um, you know about the Sabbath. You can't, you're not supposed to skateboard on the Sabbath. Y'all got to wait until the sun go down to go do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so that's important. That. Yeah, that's important. You got to keep the Sabbath. Um, you already know about unclean foods. You know about that? Yeah. Nope. Yeah, you can, you can eat some seafood, but not all seafood. Somebody get that for the system. Yep. This is Leviticus 11. You want to start this one? Or? Uh, no, you can get into the fish. Oh. This is Leviticus 11. Hey, that Edomite gave us a thumb down. <laughs> That's funny. Really? It yeah, he gave us a thumb down. <laughs> I didn't see that. What you got, This is Leviticus 11, verse 9. Bring it out. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. So he's going to tell you what you can eat, that seafood. Come on. Whatsoever have fins and scales what in the it, waters. It got to have what? Fins, fins and, and scales. So you can only eat fish that have fins and scales you know so um no, no, no nothing like that no oysters no shrimps, no nothing. none of that none of that that's easy though that's easy Locked in. both both skin uh fins and scales so a catfish has fins but they don't have scales no they gotta have both fins and scales fins and scales read it again one more time these shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever have fins and scales. Fins and scales. You yeah. have to have both of them. In the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Yeah. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. So if it don't have fins and scales, it's an abomination to us. Right. You know, we set apart, we holy people. And a lot of the things that people take out of the sea that's not um, supposed to be taken out, like shrimps, crabs, lobster, oysters, um, a lot of these things are in the ocean. Hey, like you said, catfish, they bottom feeders and they filter out the water and clean the ocean. Yeah, we're not supposed to be taking, that's why, like even from here, or when you on the highway, like you can smell the, um, this is the Arkansas River, you can smell how bad, it, it don't smell good. Because all of the things that's supposed to be in there that, that cleans it. Yeah, man, fish can't even survive over there like that. Right, that's, a, that's another uh, primary reason why we can't eat them, because they're eating so much bad waste. They eat the waste of the, the rivers and the, the lakes and the ocean. So, to cleanse it. Right, so, yeah, so if you eating it, you put all the toxins inside it. That's why you're not. That's why. That's why it's not good for you, right? So I wanted to show something that the, um, the uh, officer was saying earlier about skateboarding, right? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 13. Bring it out. Yeah. It says, "If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasures on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, you can't call the Sabbath a delight. You delight. That means that you like it. You enjoy it, right? You enjoy skateboarding. Skateboarding. It says, the Lord, the hook." said the, the holy of the lord honorable and shall honor him not doing thy own ways finding thy own pleasures nor speaking thy own words you can't do your own ways you can't do your own pleasures on the sabbath that's that's for every other day but on the sabbath day you give honor to the most high God. you delight in the lord on that day uh, that makes sense so like it. Go ahead, hey dude. so y'all um so when does the sabbath start close so a full day is sundown to sundown. That's one day. So it's a completion of 24 hours. So the Sabbath starts Friday when the sun goes down. 
and then all the way until Saturday until the sun goes down. That's the Sabbath. So once the sun goes down tonight, then you can go skateboard, you know? So that's how that goes. Um, you got something else? All right, so if uh, numbers uh, 1538, real quick. All right. So um, when y'all came up, um, the captain asked, did y'all see yourselves on the side, right? And you said what? And Gad is a part of what? Gad is a part of what? The 12 tribes of Israel, right? Read uh, Numbers 15, 38. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Right, speak to the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. Right, so he says, speak unto y'all. Go ahead. And bid them. And command them. The word bid mean command. Right, command them. That they make them fringes right and the border of their garments right throughout their generations so throughout their generations right that means from all the way back then in antiquity till today you must have fringes on right go ahead and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue and that you put upon your fringe of the border a ribbon of blue everybody show their ribbon of blue everybody show their ribbon of blue right why? Because we got we commanded to do this by the Most High God. Go ahead. And it shall be unto you for a fringe right? that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Why do we do this? Because when we look upon our fringes, we remember all the commandments of the Lord. God. It's like an alarm clock. It's like a reminder. This is what we must do to be obedient to the Most High God. Right? Now, I want both of y'all to get up and look at this, though. This is nothing new because y'all from the tribe of Gad, right? Now, look. Look what Gab been doing this yeah. whole time. Yeah. This is what Gab been doing the whole time. Wearing what? Fringes. You have to wear your fringes. Okay, this isn't a, this is what happens when you come over to a when, when Americanize you. You take off your, your, your garment. Right? You gotta put your garment back on. That's commanded of us by the children of Israel. Right? For the children of Israel. Excuse me. Right? God. It says and it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Right. And do them. And what? And, and do, do them. them. Y'all must what? Do, do them. them. You must what? Do, do them. them. I just know about it. Now just talk to your husband about it, but you must what? Do, do them. them. You must do it. What's the scripture? Uh, 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 what is that? Romans 11? Romans 2.13. Get Romans 2.13. Right? You got to do them. Give me... um. Uh, 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 1 John 2 and verse uh, 4, I believe it is. This is Romans 2 and 13. Bring it out. But not the hearers of the law. Not are, the hear, not just the hearers, right? Go ahead. Are just before God. Uh -huh. But the doers Ooh. of the law shall be justified. But the what? But the, the doers, doers of the law, the law shall, shall be justified. You can't just hear about it on the video and be like, oh yeah, those fringes, they look really nice. But the what? The doers, doers of the law shall, shall be justified. justified. If you do it, you're going to be justified. You the children of Israel. Y'all above all the nations. You got to represent. You understand? Let me see if that's the key. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 24. Bring it out. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes. To what? To, to do, do all, all these statutes. statutes. Not just hear about them. To, to do, do all, all these statutes. Just to know about them. To, to do, do all these statutes. statutes. We, we, gotta, we become truly Israelites when we start to act like an Israelite. When we do what is commanded of us, anybody, how many times you seen a brother come up to camp and be like, oh, I know I'm an Israelite. You're like, brother, you don't look like it. Right. You know, you got to do it. Right? Go ahead. And it shall be, oh, um, it's a lot. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes to fear the Lord our God. To what? To, to fear, fear the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. When you fear the Lord our God, you're going to do exactly as he said. The word fear go into reverence as um, a deep respect for God. When you have a deep respect for God, you do his commandments. You do what he told you to do. You understand? That's the type of respect you should have. Go ahead. For our good for, always. For what? For, for our, our good always. always. For their what? For our, our good, good always. always. For your good always. So when you start to keep the commandments, hey, that's when the blessings start to come in. Right? Don't you want the blessings to come in? No. Right? Give us, uh, you got some key? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Joshua 1? Yeah. That he might preserve us alive. That he might what? Preserve, preserve us alive. alive. You want to be preserved alive. 
go ahead. As it is at this day, right? As it is this day. This is why we keep the commandments. This is why we gotta keep the commandments, right? Because uh -oh. we want good to come upon us. Uh oh. Yeah, we gotta get on them. Brother, you're killing yourself. Yeah, we gonna get on them. Right. Killing you're yourself. You gonna get on them? Bad habit. This is Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. Bring it out. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Right, the, part, the book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Right, go ahead. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. They must what? Meditate day and night. Y'all got a Bible? Y'all got to meditate in the Bible day and night. When the sun come up and when the sun go down. That's what the scriptures say. Go ahead. That thou mayest observe. They may what? That yeah, man is observe. observe. Right, observe. You know what observe means, right? Go ahead. To, to do according to all that is written therein. Now to hear. To do all that is written therein. You must do. This is the thing that the Most High want us to do. Uh. Is what? The commandments. This is why we got brought over here in captivity. This is why we've been oppressed. This is why we've been slaughtered. This is why we've been raped, robbed, and murdered. Right? Because we refuse to what? Do. Do his commandments. We got to do them. Go ahead, King. Uh, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. When you keep the commandments, he's going to make your ways prosperous. I heard you say that your lights and your electricity not on. You understand? You know what you need to be doing? The commandments. The commandments. Right? Go ahead. And thou shalt have good success. Then you're going to have good success. When you start doing the commandments of God, you're going to have good success. Then he's going to make your ways prosperous. Go ahead. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong of a good courage. You said, have not I commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Go ahead. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. Right, don't be dismayed of this world. Don't, the hardship that you go through, don't be dismayed at it. Go ahead. But the Lord thy God is with thee. He's what? With thee. The Lord thy God is with y'all. Go ahead. Wherever thou goest. Wherever you go, the most, the most high God is with you. Right? Even when y'all was over there across the street, the most high was God was with you, and he did what? Directed you to come here to the word of God. Right? Go ahead. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Go ahead. Pass through the host and command the people, saying, Prepare you victuals, for within three days you shall pass over this Jordan to go into the land, to possess the land which the Lord... God give it you to possess it. And this is the reason why we was bringing this out earlier that you got to keep the commandments because if we don't keep the commandments, we're not going to get the land back. Huh. You understand? That's why he told us earlier, hey, keep the commandments. Meditate in the scriptures day and night. Be strong and of good courage. Right? Prepare the victuals. Right? Huh. You understand? We got to do these things because if we don't, we're not going to get back into our righteous state. We're not going to get out of this captivity. You understand? You got something, King? Oh, I thought you had something. You got something, King? Yeah. Okay, I wanted to talk more about the laws. So we went over um, dietary laws. Uh, we went over the Sabbath day. Uh, what's another good commandment that they, they think we need to know? Uh, we need to go over repentance. Go ahead. Right? So y'all know how to repent? How do you repent? Uh, you ask the Lord for forgiveness. All right, so when you repent, what does that consist of? It consists of thanking praising Him. Right. And Asking him for forgiveness and thanking him for everything he does. Forgiveness okay. for what? Uh, what did you for do our wrong? Sins. Okay. So sin, the, uh, uh, sins is when you do what? Uh, disobey the commandments. That's right. That's all we was looking for. Go ahead, bring it out, King. Let me grab this real quick. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 9. Bring it out. Oh. Wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way uh -huh. by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Right, so how, how should a man cleanse his, his ways? By what? How do you cleanse your ways? Huh? All right, read that again, King. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Read it from the top. Wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way? Right. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. By taking heed to the word, right? By doing the word, by listening to the word, by observing the word. That's how you cleanse your ways. Give me Ephesians uh, 5, 21. Now look, this is uh, the definition for repentance, right? It says that divinely rough conviction, conviction of sin in the heart that the soul is guilty before God in a resolution turn, turning away from sin in which sinners identify themselves with the uh, gracious act of God in redeeming him. You understand that? I'm going to read again. 
that divinely wrong conviction of sin, being convicted that you sin, right? It says, in the heart that the soul is guilty before God, that you can, you're guilty. When you find out you do something, right? And you find, oh, I'm guilty. You can't do those things, right? It says, in the a resolute turning away from sin in which the sinner identifies himself with the gracious act of God in redeeming himself, right? So you got to understand that when you, when you realize you do something and it's a sin, that you turn away from it. And what do you do? You, you follow after God. You understand what God said do. That's how you repent. Don't go back to the wickedness that you did before because that's not repentance. You move forward. You get closer to God. Right. Right? You got some, King? Uh, this is Acts 3 and 19. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore. They say what? Repent, repent ye therefore. Uh-huh. And be converted. Right? That, that your sins may be blotted out. They say repent ye therefore and be converted. Be converted into righteousness. Be converted into keeping the laws. Right? Being converted and being a true Israelite. Right. Chosen seed of God. Right? Go ahead. Uh, when the times of refreshing shall come, come from the, the presence, presence of the Lord. Lord. Go back up. My bad. My bad. Uh, repent ye therefore and be converted. Right? That your sins may be blotted out. That your sins may be blotted out. That's what you want. When you repent, you want those sins to be blotted out. You understand? Ain't that true? Right? Go ahead. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Right? It's for, hey, when the most High say, all right, I forgive you for that. You understand? I understand that you truly repented. Right? Sin no more. Sin no more, like I said. Right? Go ahead, King. And, and he shall send Yahweh shall, so can, and he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, mm -hmm. whom the heaven must receive until the time of restitution of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all his prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall, shall the Lord God raise up unto you of your brother like unto me. Him shall ye, ye hear in all things wheresoever he shall say unto you. But we know that when Christ did come to the to earth, he was keeping the laws of God. And we're supposed to be followers of Christ. So what should we be doing? Following the laws of God. 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 Um, so y'all at the age where y'all do a lot of, how old are y'all again? Okay, 18. Okay, yeah, that's the right age where you go do dumb stuff. Right. Yeah, you calm now. Yeah, I was a trouble oh, kid. So how do you feel about tattoos? Oh, uh, I got this one when I was in a bad spot, but uh, I heard it's, it's uh, your, bo your body's a temple. Yeah. So you're not supposed to tattoo your temple. That's true. So just because, you mind me real quick? Go ahead. Just because um, you said that through the spirit, when you smoke, you got to remember the same principle you just said. Your body is the yeah, temple. You cannot defile the body. You can't defile your temple, man. You understand? You said it's a bad habit, not a good habit. You know it's bad. Right? Didn't he say that? No, it's not. He said it's a bad habit. Brother, fight that temptation, man. You understand? Get keep get more into the word. You smoke too? Alright, you smoke black and mouse? You smoke weed? Okay. Well you, no, you, you can't smoke weed either. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you can't smoke it. Look, you know? look, that's big for Moses in the burning. Right. Hey, right, get, go ahead, King. <laughs> hey, get uh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna grab this real quick. This Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. Bring it out. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Right. So this is a commandment by God. This is why we know that we can't get tattoos. We can't print no mar no marks upon us. You want to say something? Yeah, I was gonna say you can't honor the Most High God with sin. Like you know, some people they're like, well, I just get some sin. I seen a person literally uh, get a scripture tatted on them. It says uh, Isaiah 44. There's no peace to the wicked. Yeah, they get, they trying to honor the Most. And it was another brother. Yeah, it was another brother. He got Revelations 1 and 14, and he got a picture of the Black Messiah on his arm. Right, like, like you can't honor God with sin, bro. Yeah, I see brothers with Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. I see my I see that yeah. no weapon formed Lord against me. me. Right, right. You're like, bro, you know the scriptures. Why you getting that tatted on? Yeah, that's contradicting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah.
Hey, look, so this is Genesis. <laughs> My bad. This is Genesis chapter 9 and verse, verse 3. Bring it up. It says, Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. I'm at Genesis 9 and 3. You can get Genesis 1. Yeah, uh, you can get that one first. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, this is Genesis uh, chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 29. Bring it out. And God said, Behold, I give every herb bearing seed. He said, What? I, I give, give every herb bearing, bearing seed. seed. One more time. I, I give, give every herb bearing, bearing seed. seed. Come on. Can you sell me some of that herb? You got some of that herb on you? We know what herb is. I'm talking. Right? So, this is a scripture that I'm going to use um, when it comes to weed. God. Read it from the top. And God said, Woo. Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. Don't we have seeds in it? Yes, it does. Go ahead. Which is upon the face of all the earth. And it's everywhere. Come on. In every tree, and in which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. So now it's talking about trees, fruit trees. First it was talking about the herbs. Now it's talking about trees, fruit. Come on. To you it shall be for me. It shall be what? For me. For what? For, for me. For what? For, for me. So when it comes to herbs, when it comes to different plants, when it comes to fruits, it's all supposed to be eaten. You're not supposed to smoke it. We're not supposed to be smoking anything. Um, go to uh, chapter. Okay, go ahead. Verse 30. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, that wherein there is life, I have given thee, so like I have given every herb for meat, and right. it was so. Right. So, he, so, go ahead. Uh, one thing about it is, yes, we, I know a lot of people say it comes from the ground and, you know, God made this. That's true, but a lot of times God made it for a specific reason and we abuse it and we can get in trouble for that. And that's how it is, that's how it is when it comes to weed. Like, yeah, he made it for us, but we abusing it and we using it the wrong way. Um, can you get uh, chapter nine? This is uh, Revelation chapter you want three, right? Genesis. Yeah. Genesis, select it. Genesis chapter nine, verse three. You know, every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Come on. Even as the green herb. As the what? Green herb. The, herb. the what? The green green herb. herb. So the green herbs. Come on. Have I given you all things? Is that it? Is that That's it? it? Hey, he said the green herb is supposed to be for meat. There's no way around it. So y'all gotta stop smoking. No okay. skateboarding on the Sabbath. So if, if what what do you do with meat? Uh, so what do you do with the herb then? What do you do with the herb? Uh, we eat it. You can't yeah. smoke it, so you have to what? Yeah, you gotta eat it. Gotta gotta eat it. it. <laughs> it's no way around it. And it tells you, and God said, God. remember it said, we were going over earlier, not the hearers of the law are just, but the doers of the law, right? shall be justified you have to do this yes, you have to just like he got to fight the temptation to put the black amount down you got to fight the temptation to put the weed down True. you understand who all used to smoke weed who all used to smoke weed <laughs> we all smoked weed right i stopped Woo -hoo! completely yeah. right Hey, and one thing for sure, it ain't no winging yourself, right? Yeah. Cold I tried that, and I always resort back to it. And, you know, I'm trying to find a reason to do it. It's like, you really got to be convicted by it. Yep. Yeah. You got to cold turkey that. Yeah, and, and uh, just a, a smooth testimony, when you have somebody to encourage you to do it, uh, I used to encourage the bar. The bar used to hit me up all the time. I'm like, hey, bro, you going to get it. Hey, you, you know, know what I'm saying? I used to tell him too, I'd be like, bro, I'm going to die this way. Because you would be thinking, like, bro, you're going to run out of time. I'm going to die this way. Preach up. Bring it out. Bring it out. This is Cyrek 5, verse 7. Bring it out. Make no tearing to turn, turn to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Right. And put not off from day, day to day. day. Now, what, what does the word tarrying mean? Wait. I know what tarrying mean. Meaning, like, don't wait. Don't hesitate. Yeah, yeah procrastinate. It's a better word. Don't procrastinate. Right? Go ahead, King. For, for suddenly, suddenly shall, shall the wrath of the Lord come, come forth, uh -huh. and in thy security, security thou shalt, shalt be destroyed, destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So if you, wear, if, you, if you procrastinate, right, to put that away, you might get destroyed. Damn. You understand? Don't, don't, don't procrastinate. Don't wait to put it off. Start right now, like I said, man. Just, hey, just stop. Right. You understand? Damn. It's for consumption, not to smoke it. Hey, right? Son. 
Hey, what, why do y'all y'all ask that? Why y'all smoking? Oh, uh, just to get high. Um, okay, to get high. I had a bad childhood, and it just helped. I, just, kind of like I thought it, I'm thing. still Is it stable. Uh, no, it's just stuck with the thought that it helps. I know it doesn't, but it's stuck with the thought no. that it does. And that's what the world thinks. Well, we can all agree that anybody that smoked marijuana has a it has its um, benefits. It's a very it's a common mechanism. It puts your mind at ease, right? I would say it puts your mind at ease, right? But when you consuming something the wrong way, that's not right. Inhaling anything, right? Any, I don't care what it is. Right. Only thing you're supposed to be in inhaling is oxygen, right. and then you 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 inhale bad oxygen that can kill you, right? Yep. So. Alright, uh, this be going into, uh, like that. I said, y'all going through something, right? Oh, yeah. Your outlet was weed, but I'm going to show you why you going through it and what your outlet should be. This is Hebrews 12 and 6. Bring it out! For whom the Lord loveth, he chastised. So, y'all been the tribe of God, our Israelites. Y'all going to go through it for not keeping the commandments, but it's not, it's not to destroy you, it's to bring you back to him. <clears throat> and scourge every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastising, God dealeth with you as with sons. For well, what son is he whom the father chastised not? Right. But if ye with that chastisement were of our partakers, then are ye bastards and not, not sons? sons? So, like I said, we're gonna go through stuff, but understand that God is taking you through this as a warning to wake you up to come back to him. You know what I mean? Also, with y'all electricity at the camp, I got a uh, program that y'all can. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna look into programs. But I got a program sure for y'all. Yeah. All praise. Yeah. Uh, I think it's gonna work out because uh, the higher up, the Almighty. Uh, God is good. God is great. Uh, uh, that's having faith. So we gonna, what's your name? Oh, my name's Eric. Eric? Oh, yeah. We gonna hurt from you, Eric? Oh, yeah. I'm we don't want no money from you. No, no yeah. We help build you up. No, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys more than you guys know. Uh, uh, you got to go. God bless you guys.